in two hours. Okay? Anybody have any questions on that? Now, let me do this for you here. Let's think about this. Okay, this is the expected value, of the long run average of 3.2. Do you think that has any value in your life? What do you think? Who likes to go to Vegas? Yowzdi, you really like Vegas? You sure? What do you, what do you like about Vegas? Oh, <laughs> I don't even want to know. <laughs> I must be getting old. Because I really don't like going to Vegas. Do you guys know that? It's full of smoke. <coughs> Off. Um, I'm not like Eddie though. Eddie, Eddie loved Vegas so much he used to live there. Is that right, Eddie? Eddie used to live there. Okay. Well, what does it have to do with Vegas? And let's let's take a look at this. So Yowzi, what do you do when you're in Vegas? You gamble. Okay, good. You gamble. Let's just say that's all you do, right? She just gambles. Do you go to the buffets? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the best part. Uh, what, do you guys, what do you guys notice about Vegas? Like, do you ever notice that you get or your drinks free? Don't you also have like a, even your breakfast subsidized? In the sense that you can, I don't know if you've noticed, some of the casinos would say a dollar, a dollar for a shrimp cocktail. At least they used to say, I haven't been there in a while. Do you guys ever notice those signs? Or you have breakfast for like a buck? Do you guys, any, everybody ever notice that? Or is it just me? Just, I notice all the food. You guys notice all the what? I know why you guys, you go to these clubs and maybe there's like some magic show happening during, you know, while everybody's dancing, right? You guys like, oh, look at the magic show. Look at the guy up there with, you know, putting a rabbit out of his hat. You guys like that stuff. I used to notice just the food. Sorry. God, I could, get a, I could have breakfast for a dollar. Right, Eddie? You ever notice that? Because you, you live there. 99 cents, right? For like pancakes, eggs, bacon, everything. Orange juice. You can't beat it. You ever wonder how they, how they made their money? How could they afford to give you a pretty, pretty much a free breakfast and free drinks? How could they afford to do that? You're spending your money on gambling? <laughs> but, but wait a minute. You spend your money on gambling, but isn't it true that people are winning, right? Aren't people winning money? Anybody here ever won money in Las Vegas? How much did you win? Ooh. You what? I didn't know what I was doing, and then next to me, I was like, oh, they're just pressing buttons. She's just pressing buttons. Oh, she won 300 bucks. Nice. Did you win? Who's won the most money here? I've asked this question for every probability statistics class. I think the largest that I've gotten was somebody bought one like $6,000. They use it to buy a car to some degree. Anybody here uh, win, win more than that? Okay, so so far the record is about six grand. Somebody's won. Eddie, you see anybody win a lot more money than that? Uh, no. no. Okay, well, they got their pictures on the wall of the people that won money. Oh, they got to prove to people. You know what it is? It's motivation. Okay. Well, here's the deal. Here's what's going on. Okay, it's based on this simple idea. Have you ever even played a raffle? A raffle. How do raffles work? What are raffles designed to do? Make money for who? For the church. <laughs> for whoever is conducting the raffle to get into heaven, right? For the church. <laughs> That's true, they have raffles at church. Is that right? It's true. 
right? But I remember raffles growing up playing sports. They always would raffle. Every Saturday there was a raffle. OK, fine. Uh, how did they work? Maybe in a raffle situation, they're going to sell, oh, I don't know, let's say 200 tickets at a dollar per ticket. for a chance to win a bike or a DVD player or let's say 50 bucks. Back then it was uh, all you can eat at the snack bar. Okay? <laughs> all, the, all the horrible nachos, all the old hot dogs and soda you can eat that Saturday, that's what you'd win for the raffle. How much did that cost? Who knows? Okay? Who knows? You guys okay with that? So they're going to sell 200 tickets at a dollar per ticket for a chance to win 50 bucks. Okay, so what's happening with this raffle? Do you guys know? Well, what are the outcomes? Tell me what the outcomes are. What are the outcomes? That you can sit outside right in the next classroom. Okay. Okay, what are the outcomes for this raffle? Do you guys know? You can what, Moshe? You can either win or what? Is that true? You can either win or lose. Isn't that what the outcomes are here? Okay. Now tell me, let's talk about probability. Probability now. For this raffle, Remember how a raffle works? What do they do? What do they do for a raffle? You got, don't tell me you've just stood home and you never, what do you do? What do they do? They sell you tickets and then what? They put it in some container and then they, you know, they did, they, yeah, and then remember we, when we added students, we had a raffle. So when they select a ticket, the probability that you win, can you tell me? What's that probability? How many winning tickets are there? How many? There's only one winning ticket out of how many tickets? 200. So the probability that you win is 1 over 200. You guys see that there? There's one winning ticket out of the 200. OK, you guys OK with that? OK, good. Note. What's the probability you do not win? What's the probability you lose? Well, it's 1 minus 1 over 200. What is that? Notice, didn't I use the complement rule? Complement rule. So what's this going to be? 199 over 200. So the probability that you do not win or that you lose is 199 over 200. OK, you guys OK with that? Is that simple or is that hard? You guys just had a test on that. So you should say, ah, oh, easy, simple. All right, good. Now here's the deal.